Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading, Your Highest Soul Mission. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. As you can see, we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So we have pile one with the rat. We have pile two with the lioness. And we have pile three with the turtle. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps and I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile number one and welcome to your reading. What's your highest soul mission? And I'm very drawn to this pile and I think it's very interesting that we got the rat here. So, yeah, this is going to be exciting reading. I can already feel it. So yes, you felt drawn to the rat. So something with, you are a very bold and brave soul. You have a very specific mission. Not, there, are, there are souls like you. You're definitely like a star seed or some higher light being or an uh, incarnated angel, something along those lines. And there are many of you, there you 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 belong to a team so you're not doing this alone alone there are souls like you that has the same mission and you have the ability to you needed to lower your frequency your vibration to come here to earth and uh, but you can like something with you being able to do it because you are a very powerful soul and you you have as a soul you have done missions like this before on other planets is what i get so let's start there and let's just see how these uh, messages are developing spiritual evolution set your heart free wow yeah you're a server you, like your highest soul mission is to you this is not the first time you're doing this you you are a traveler like you travel to different uh, galactic civilizations and planets that needs your help and you go there for their you go there and you assist in their evolution set your heart free you come with the with the rat it kind of feels like you you come to clean up the, the mess yeah you come to clean up the mess and you you assist in the like the evolution of uh, the souls living on that planet and also the kind of the evolution of this, the, the planet in itself, the environment. Set your heart free. You come with the heart. <clears throat> you come with the heart. Many times you, you're you doing like very unappreciated work because, you know, as a rat, <laughs> it's like you had to, you're doing the, the, the heavy, like you're, you're, you're dealing with the heavier things, I would say. And cleaning up heavier um, like karma or like energies um, <clears throat> so let's let's stay in on planet earth so like here like you are you you you're carrying like a lot of energies and things that are not yours in your own body you're what I call a transformate like transformer yeah you take a lot of energies on you as a burden and then you transform them through your ability to heal through your spiritual connection and doing this you open up the pathway and you heal the collective yeah, you heal the collective and you open up the pathway. I hear you need to know that you're not alone. There are many of you here on earth. Like You're definitely like what they call a light worker. You came here with a solemn mission to help earth and humanity ascend. <clears throat> yeah. Help earth and humanity ascend. To be able to do this, you need to get, you need to dig deep into the human psyche and human emotions and karma. So many lifetimes you, uh, you decided to get lost. 
yeah, you decided to get lost in fear and war and uh, troubles so that you could carry the burden. Yeah, carry the burden. Once again, like the way you help is through your own ascension, through your own transformation, because once again, this opens up the pathway collectively for people to heal. The Atlanteans. Yeah, so you came <laughs> during the time of Atlantis. Uh, it says evolution again. So you got spiritual evolution and you got evolution vibration. Legacy, technology, progress, expect acceler acceleration. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice. <clears throat> it it's always like this in pile one. And then it kind of settles. So you have a strong voice. You have a very, very strong purpose. And I think many of you in Pile 1, you already know this. You already know that you have a connection to Atlantis or Lemuria. You already know that you're a light worker, a star seed, an incarnated angel, or some kind of higher light being connect connected to the Galactic Federation of Light, connected to the archangels, connected to certain deities and goddesses that you really resonate with. <clears throat> you already know this and one thing that's very important for you to know because I really think that you are dealing with the darker things of earth the darker things of the human psyche the the psychology of being a human the personality that that is created combined with the ego so you are doing the heavy work and at times you cannot or you haven't understood your own power yeah, even this red here looks like a, you came from like a portal here. <laughs> yeah, you came from a portal and you came here to earth. But you're an old soul. You've been in the game here for a long time. You're probably carrying a lot, a lot of heavy karma. And another thing that you need to know, it's not, you did it by purpose. You're like, yeah, so what is the problem that humans have? Okay, they are losing themselves in addictions. They are losing themselves in drugs. They are losing themselves in greed, in fear, in this, in that. And you're like, okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna lose myself in greed and fear and competition and war and envy and all these things. I'm gonna lose myself and then with my power and together with this, because you're many supporting each other, we, I'm going to ascend and through my ascension, I'm going to lift the vibration of all the humans. I'm going to help them by this. So you're a very bold, <laughs> very bold and courageous soul, very mature, uh, very old soul. Yeah, you're an old galactic soul. And this is what you do. This is not the first time you've been doing this. You've been doing this many times. This is just another, another experience. Earth experience, of course, is new for you. So this is the first time doing it here on Earth. That's why it's not completely 100% super easy, you know? And also because you also, as all souls that come here, you experience in this connection, you forget who you are, you get your karma, you get the ego, you get the pain body and all these things. So you have to do the same thing as every soul, of course. You have to go through the healing process and all the obstacles and all the challenges. But the light in you is very strong. The mission is you in you is very strong. So at a certain point in your life, which I think already happened, is that you had a spiritual awakening and you just you just knew and you just felt that this is right. It, healing and ascension is my path. And everything spiritual just makes sense for you. You found your, I think you found your spiritual path and now you're following it. I think many of you are already, you're already living your mission. Yeah, you're already doing this. The new children. Be all you can be. Hmm. Indigo child. You're bo you're born to be different. You're you came different. You were different when you came, and you you stayed different. You have a diff evolution vibration. Yeah, you have a different vibration to you, and er you became a part of Earth. You know, but you're still not from this world. So you kept your core vibration and your core vibration is like I'm, I'm getting like indigo child uh indigo child or some, some rain something else i mean i can't really put my finger what they're trying to say but like how, like they're, they're trying to show me the vibration actually and they're trying to tell me but i can't i don't there's no word for it <laughs> yeah there's no word for it so you you have a very specific vibration 
And it's interesting with the child here and the rat here, because the rat, your energy really, and even the Atlanteans here with the man here, it really makes me... There's only masculine energy here. There is a man standing here. There's a man here. The rat, we don't know, but there is a boy here. Masculine energy. Action. Yeah, action. You're dealing really with the heavy stuff. And you need to know that... I, I, I really felt drawn to this reading, so yeah, I feel with you. I feel with you. You are dealing... You could be dealing with spiritual attacks because you are a force of light. So there is forces that doesn't want to see you shine, that doesn't want to see you break free, that doesn't want to see you ascend, because this, this means that the darkness cannot stay on earth, this means that ego and greed and war and fights cannot stay. So there is, the, naturally there is like spiritual attacks and things making it heavier for you, but you know this, you you know this. You 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 you're you're working very close with Archangel Michael. You're working very closely with many spiritual masters that has already ascended. You you have a lot of like dragon energy within you. You're embodying dragon energy. You have it outside you. A lot of masculine energy, and at the same time, you know your heart. High set your heart free. You know high vibe. You're a very high vibrational human or soul. Uh, and with the new children, be all you can be. You're multi-talented. Like, you have a lot of talent. This is... I, I, I just get this feeling that you know this. Like, I'm not telling you anything new. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I know all these things. You already know your mission. I, I really think many of you already know your mission and know this is true. Oh, I really... Wow, I'm getting goosebumps. I really felt like how closely you were working with Archangel Michael. You are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Yeah, you're not alone. It's you. It's the archangels. It's the galactic federation of light. It's it's uh, Buddha. It's Jesus. It's Mary Magdalene. It's, uh, uh, um, I don't know, this and that. <laughs> Whoever you resonate with, don't just think about what I'm saying. You, the, the, the masters that you're thinking of, your guides are going to be Ascended masters, angels, goddesses, deities, these higher uh, energies, because you are a higher soul. So you, you're, the guidance is, has to match you. <laughs> it has to match you. So you belong to them. You're just on, you're just, you're the one who is here on earth. You're one of the ground team, but your team is so much bigger than that. There are many of you here on earth, but there is also this higher team that, that is just so big. You're a true light worker. Yeah, true light worker, true master soul that has a very high mission. Always, it, it was always about your mission. You came here. You came here knowing this. Okay, now souls wants to go to earth because they want to experience this connection. They want to lose themselves in this and that. And I'm going to be a part of it because as a server of the universe, I also want to evolve and I also want to keep on helping. And there's joy in this. And, you know, maybe it doesn't sound because it's such a heavy burden at times that you have been dealing with and heavy energies. Uh, but it's joy. Yeah, the new, there's a lot of joy in this. You, this is what you like to do. And it wouldn't surprise me if, as a soul, you like to dig deep into the human psyche. You like to understand things. You like to desiccate things. You like to sp speak very deeply. You're not a shallow person. You, li you don't like talking about mundane things or like the weather, <laughs> you know, things like that. You always want to go to the deepest parts, like of, of emotions and uh, you, you like to explore things. A lot of like, I'm getting like a lot of 8th house, 12th house energies here, Scorpio Pisces energy. So it could be that that is very predominant in your natal chart, which also shows how activated this is this lifetime. Doesn't have to be, but could be that you have some special placements. Once again, Pisces, Scorpio, 8th house or 12th house. <clears throat> Hmm, even, yeah, even even fifth house and tenth house kind of showing your mission in some way. Yeah, let's do more cards. Wow, diving for light. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I felt like you were really like, you like to dive deep, you know, and diving, you know, you like to dive, dive very deep, but diving for light. You are the one that goes very deep into things, but you bring light with you. It's not your, you are the light. 
that's the thing. You don't channel light. You are the light. You always been the light. So it's like you forget it and you go very deep. You lose yourself in, you know, family karma and this and that and this trauma and that trauma. And then you get activated, you know, and in you, it's like the light, you get activated and you become the light. So everything within you and around you just becomes light and then you transform it. You rise up. This is the phoenix. Oh, I'm getting so much goosebumps. <laughs> 11. Your awakening is also awakening everything around you. You have a huge aura. You have a huge aura. Interesting first card that shows feminine energy here. So it's like you have you 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 have to you have to there's a lot of action. There's a lot of diving deep. There's a lot of things, but then this this, this awakening process is very yin like <gasps> I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you come, you, you become activated and then light, you become light again. You become connected again. You remember who you are again. You embody your own energy and your energy is just high vibrational light. You're a light being. I don't even think you have a body on higher planes. Yeah, you're definitely higher light being or angelic being or something like that. But I don't see you having really like a body. Like you have a light energy. Hmm. You're very powerful. You have big, powerful, very big, powerful mission. Yeah, very big, powerful mission. The new man. Look at that. We have Jesus here as well. Enlightened masculine. <laughs> Potential new earth. Wow. So if I have, a, if I have, I, for my male viewers who feels drawn to this reading, I want to say I love your energy. <laughs> yeah, you're you have you're carrying a very mature divine masculine energy. And probably uh your soul is carrying yeah the divine masculine could be that you're a, you are in Archangel Michael's le legion of angels like you're one of his legions like you're one of his angels. So you're very ca you're carrying the archangel you are the archangel Michael energy. But you're also carrying the Christ energy. You come here. You come here. Dragon warrior. With the heart. To. to. It wouldn't surprise me. Pile number one. If you have a twin flame. There's divine masculine and divine feminine energy here. And they need each other. To activate. They need each other to activate. The divine masculine activates the divine feminine. And divine feminine activates the divine masculine your your purpose is to activate the divine feminine hmm that could also mean you know if we if we put twin flames to the side as a like your mission is to activate the heart the heart energy to ground the heart energy to to, to ground the christ energy it's like you go <clears throat> You know, <laughs> okay, this is going to be a strange metaphor here, but I'm thinking about, uh, you know, the movie Armageddon. Do you, do you guys remember that movie? There was a big, the movie is about like a big uh, meteorite or like something about to fall. It's, if it's fall, it's about to hit Earth. And if it hits Earth, everything is going to be destructed. So what they need to do is like they need to send some really skilled drillers up to that meteorite. I don't remember if it's a meteorite or what it was, but it was some big ass thing that was gonna hit the earth. And they need to drill in, in it to, to, to reach the center of it. And reaching the center of it, they needed to uh, detonate this bomb. So it, it was exploding from the, the inner, exploding from the center. And if doing that meant that it would like implode, and it meant like, okay, all the pieces would be scattered in such a way that it, they wouldn't hit earth. <clears throat> and I'm getting this feeling with you. You needed to dive, diving for like, you needed to go very deep into the, the, the darkness of earth, the dark side of humanity with everything that it means. So it's a lot of pain, a lot of pain, many lifetimes, a lot of pain. And then get activated in there. <sighs> full of light and at the same imp, your light imploding the planet and scattering the pieces and awakening everything and you're not doing this alone there's many of you diving deep getting activated working with your ascension and spreading this light anchoring christ energy 
this looks like Kuan Yin I, in my head just now, uh, what I felt, like Kuan Yin, Christ energy, high Buddha type energies. <laughs> yeah. For some of you, you definitely have a twin flame or a divine counterpart and you're carrying one of you, you're carrying stronger the feminine energy and one of you are carrying stronger the divine masculine energy. <sighs> wow, look at that. Heart of compassion. There are many people around you now who benefit from your loving, compassionate heart. Yeah, you're gra you're, you are grounding this energy, Christ energy, high energy of love, the new earth. You're here to create the new earth, but you also were here when it went wrong. You knew it already. You were like, okay, this is going to happen. You already knew everything. So this is the earth experience. This is going to happen. Everybody's going to be confused and lost. I'm also going to be confused and lost because I'm not going to remember who I was or why I came here. But this is my mission. This is what I'm going to do. And uh, you're doing it. You're doing it completely. You or many of you, you already know this. It's nothing new here. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> nothing new. Let's take some tarot cards. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this wants to come out. I think we're just going to take them on top now. Tree of Pentacles. Yeah, look at you, the master. Master at work. Hmm. Yeah, you're a master at work. Yeah, nothing new here. You have all the tools that you need. You will succeed. I mean, <laughs> this, this is not a problem for you. There's it you 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 you're not really stuck in the karmic cycle. You come you come you're not a you're not an ordinary human soul. You you didn't you didn't sign the contract when you came here. You didn't sign the contract like okay, I'm signing the soul contract now. I'm going to Earth and like I'm gonna go through the karmic cycle and everything and I'm gonna send before I'm done with that. No, that's not your soul contract. You you come you were sent by God here to to. Uh, see everything happen, you know? Yeah, see everything happening, being a part of... Uh, you know, God doesn't send his children, uh, or God the creator, or whatever you want to call it, doesn't send his children without supervision. So you're a supervisor. Yeah, you're a supervisor in disguise. <laughs> and sometimes in so difficult disguise that you don't even know that you are a supervisor but at certain time this gets activated and awakened and then you're off you're doing your thing yeah you're doing your thing spiritual life is your life spirit being a spiritual master spirit teacher doing these things is completely 100 percent spiritual person it's what you are king of pentacles once again a lot of masculine energy a lot of like power a lot of power to change a lot of power to affect, a lot of power to move energies, a lot of power to manifest, to create. Four of Swords, <clears throat> the peacemaker, bringing peace to earth. You're dealing with a lot of masculine energies, war, fight, tension, competition, greed, addictions. Yeah, a lot of masculine uh, energies is what you're transforming. Cross boundary crossing. People doing wrong. Hmm. And the last card here, Three of Swords. We're gonna take some more cards, I think. But yeah, Three of Swords. You're here to heal the heart. Your mission is to heal the heart. Your mission is to bring peace. Your mission is to help people ascend. Let's do three more cards. Two of Swords. You're here to awaken people from the illusions, the delusions, <laughs> the confusions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, four of Cups. Very spiritual path for you with Four of Cups. Also makes me feel, yeah, it's going to be a quest for you. This is not, it's, it's, it's not going to be easy for you. Because like we said many times now, I'm going to say it again, is because it's through your own ascension that you are helping the most. Through, tr through your own the karma, the burden that you have, it's not really, car I wouldn't even call it karma really, because it's more like you decided to get lost. You said like, okay, I want to experience how it is to be an evil person. And I want to experience this and that and this and that. And you know, and this of course, because you have a very high vibration. So for you to become an evil person, it looks like 
they took a lot. You really had to dive deep into the darkness and the ickiness and the stickiness of humanity to even be able to lose yourself because you're such a light, bright soul. So yeah, very, very hard, very... Uh, but you're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. There's no ego. There's no pride. There's nothing here. There's just this, this, this high vibration of willingness to serve and curiosity, like a childlike curiosity. Like, okay, let's see what, what's going to happen. I lose myself. Okay, guys, you have to help me back. You know, don't forget about me. So they were all helping you come back. Um, there's a little bit of a feeling of a fallen angel here, you know, a fallen angel is like an angelic being that comes to earth and then loses their uh, original vibration. This is what you did. That, that's what's called the fallen angels. It's not something evil. You're not evil in any way or something like that. It's just, once again, like you choose to do this. It's out of compassion that you choose to do this so that you can help people awaken, greedy people, people who are really lost, you know, in that way. You're helping them. Hmm. Four, <clears throat> four oh one, four oh one makes me really think like anchoring because you know force, uh, stability, secure. But it's like anchoring this light. Yeah, you're anchoring this new love vibration into Earth. New. The 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 worst part of your journey is over. Like the you. This is the last part of your journey. Many of you are going to send this lifetime or like very soon. But it's up to you. Like once again, you're not stuck in any karma. You can go whenever you want to. You could, but I just feel like you don't want to. You're like, yeah, I've been here for, you know, hundreds of thousands of years since the Atlanteans, <laughs> Atlantis. I'm going to stay. I want to fulfill my mission. There's a lot of, you want, like masculine energy, once again, a lot of drive. You want to see this happen. You want to help humanity. You want to see it ascend. You want to go through the spiritual evolution. Your own soul is also evolving because it's the first time that you do the mission here on Earth. You've done it many planets before. First time doing it here. So you're also very excited. Like, ooh, let's see, you know. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm going to expand as a soul and God's light is going to shine even brighter in me and then I can go somewhere else and do the same thing or something similar. Or whatever you want to do after this, I don't know. I think you're going to do... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's leave that. That's a whole other reading. So pile number one, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two and welcome to your reading. So what is your highest soul mission? It looks like something delightful. <laughs> uh, you felt drawn to the lioness and it really looks like she's just enjoying the luxuries of life. She has a crown on her head and she just looks so happy. So I'm getting like a first message, like something like manifesting abundance is in your, in your soul mission. So yeah, but let's let's stay there and let's do more cards before we get ahead of ourselves. So let's see what we got here. Ground your light and let your soul shine. So ground your light, let your soul shine. Let's put it here. Okay. Michael and Faith, spiritual calling, divine protection, break through moment. So Michael, Archangel Michael, Fate is his twin flame counterpart. Ar I think it's called, not Archangel, but Archaea uh, Angel, <laughs> which is the feminine counterpart of uh, Archangel. So Michael and Fate, spiritual calling, divine protection, breakthrough moment. Wow, okay, it's very strong here. Hmm, what else do we have? Animals, honor, the animal kingdom. Beautiful. <laughs> Very vibrant, colorful card here. Ground your light. Spiritual calling. Honor the animal kingdom. I'm really getting like a message. Let's start with that message. So what I really feel like a part of your, your soul mission is to... I want to say like create some kind of center. Some kind of retreat place. Sanctuary for animals, sanctuary for people, and you're not doing this alone. There's two here. So there could be some kind of higher soulmate connection, twin flame connection, divine counterpart connection, and you're doing this together. You're meant to do this together. You're meant to manifest, you're meant to manifest spiritual abundance 
financial abundance, material abundance to be able to do this. It's in your plan to receive what you need on a material level to make this happen. Ground your light. Yes, you're, you're meant to create something very stable and that is meant to help other people. There, it's a spiritual calling. Your divine protection, you're very protected in this. Uh, break, doing something, yeah, you know, something along these lines, doing something very helpful, very helpful, but also like it's really meant to, you're meant to be joyful, you're meant to be happy, <laughs> you're meant to be happy, you're meant to be successful, because you're creating the new paradigm, the new paradigm, which is a higher vibration, where we have the ability to receive whatever, whatever we need from the universe. And to, so you're like, a, it's in your higher soul mission to be very abundant. It's your, in your higher soul mission to co-create with the universe and be very successful in your manifestations. Spiritual abundance is what I hear. Man, uh, material abundance, financial abundance, and also healing abundance. This big sanctuary here where you're helping. You're, you're meant to have like a lot of money and also donate and uh, donate money and be able to put in different projects that you believe in. They are not just you. There are many of you here on earth doing the same thing. So it's like every, every, you're getting connected with each other and you're helping each other do this. Yeah. Ground your light. I'll keep feeling like you're meant to build something when I see ground your light. Like build like once again like a center, spiritual center, healing sanctuary, animal sanctuary. If, if, if none of these really resonates with you, it's living your own abundant life. Being happy. A happy manifester. <laughs> you're a happy manifester because your dreams are becoming a reality. <laughs> and you're sharing, there's a lot of love here. You're sharing your life with somebody. You know, there's people, there's your tr tribe is with you. Yeah, abundant life in gold. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of gro gold here. The Miracle of Forgiveness. Archangel Jerry Mel. Thank you, Jerry Mel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. <sighs> Ooh, this was interesting energy breakthrough moment there is a blockage on your path there is a blockage on your path and it makes me want to throw up <laughs> i'm so sorry but yeah i really feel like there is your own there is your own karma or your own thing to deal with and it's pushing against your heart it's pushing against your solar plexus chakra so it could be people in the past that hurt you crossed your boundary made you mistrust humanity made you close your heart somehow from from for, for humanity the compassion being angry with people that hurt animals is the worst thing ever it makes me angry as well completely normal but like something with like um you're meant to transcend your I wanted to say hate for, for the bad, pe the evil people of the earth. Because, of course, you know, evil people doing, hurting children and animals, very hard to have a compassionate heart towards, you know. Very hard to understand that they're acting from their conditioned mind. And, you know, uh, uh, if we go deeper, you know, in their essence, they're the same energy as we. They're also love. It's very hard, very, very hard. Almost impossible for some people to do that. We only see. And that doesn't mean people shouldn't take responsibility for the bad things that they do. Of course, they have to take responsibility. We cannot allow people to do bad things and say like, oh, but their essence is nice. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. They still have to. We still have to protect ourselves and things like that. But something was like, this is something more personal. I went, I, I went a little bit bigger here, but there's something more personal here. Could be masculine energy here, like push some, something. Could be a fem, like a woman also with masculine energy, but it's like something is like, I feel like I want to take a step back when I feel this energy. So something is like pushing, pushed you, pushed you on the edge of almost insufferable pain, maybe. And, and, the miracle of forgiveness. This is your cross to carry. This is your thing that's in, in the way. This is like, I wouldn't, this is not your highest soul mission, but it's a part of you reaching your highest soul mission. Yeah, it's like a blockage that really became very, pre, like very uh, evident here in your reading now.
It's like even like how the angel here is looking straight in the eye. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to move until you deal with me. <laughs> so some past pain, some past blockage that closed your heart and something, something, something is making you a little bit unbalanced in your solar plexus chakra, your power, you're taking steps back, you know, that needs to be pushed through. And maybe even the miracle of forgiveness, finding forgiveness in a situation that is just like, I would never imagine being even able to forgive this person or open my heart to this person. So that was a side message. Shock of the new. Yeah, you're here to, your highest soul mission is to co-create the new paradigm of Earth, the 5D Earth, where people are nice to each other, where there's forgiveness, there's compassion, where uh, people learn how to co-create with the universe, how they learn to control their mind, their thoughts, uh, how they, you know, you're, you're learning how to not listen to negative thoughts and how to feed the positive thoughts to, cr to create the reality that you want. So you're one of the first, like, master manifestors. Master manifestors that is here to uh, start living the 5D reality on Earth. Yeah, 5D reality on Earth. <laughs> you're in the front line doing this. This is a fun mission because there's a lot of... There, you're meant to experience abundance, yeah? <laughs> you're meant to experience, like, a lot of abundance. And maybe you didn't have that in your life before. I don't know who this masculine energy here is. Like, they're taking your taking something from you or they're holding you in some fear and not letting you go. I don't know what it is, but once again, it's like, I can really feel how, how this energy is holding my energy. Like, it, 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 this past bond or something has a hook in me that's what I feel so something like something is you haven't dealt with something here there's unfinished business with something yeah unfinished and it, it's closing off your heart and your solar plexus chakra a little bit so keep getting back to this it ne needs to be dealt with in some way but yeah let's do let's do more cards restore Time out for you. Nature, shamanic sign. Yeah, strong, you know, yeah, I really felt like strong shamans here. Uh, you're meant to be happy. <laughs> Your highest soul mission is to become happy, free, high vibrational, 5D, you know, embody the fifth dimension, f being a five dimensional being, but even higher than that, many of you are, you know, you have higher soul energy. But yeah, reach your highest potential which is possible here on earth or reaching a very high stage of awakened awareness and joyfulness and happiness and and doing whatever you can to ease the suffering of humanity and animals and nature around you and i know so, some of you are meant to be shamans uh, you look at this beautiful dragon here yeah you have your spiritual retreat somewhere in the jungle or in the forest or maybe on the beach or something and you're work you have your thing you have your healing thing you and your person here you have your own like unique things your you your way of healing your interest uh, and this comes from past lives and your soul it's your soul gifts and talents but also like past life talents things that you have cultivated so you 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 have your thing you're good at what you're doing and you're just meant to be able to do that fully, completely. There's a lot of joy in you living your purpose. Yeah, doing that fully, completely. Restore, restore peace to earth. Restore healing. Help Gaia, help earth, help the, help the forest thrive. Some of you are just going to buy pieces of land and forest to protect it. And uh, yeah, a lot of, like, you were... And there are many of you, people becoming rich. Yeah, I'm just feeling like people getting money all around the world now that wants to use their money to help, to protect. And if you watch the news and things, I don't think you're a person to watch the news, but, you know, we can choose where to direct our energy. There's mostly, you know, when we watch news and social media and things, we just see the shallow things. We just see the hard things. We just see the, the fearful things because, to be honest... You probably know this as well. Positivity doesn't sell. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to see everything. No, nobody wants to see that. Positive news doesn't sell. You know, it's fear. <laughs> the ego wants fear. The ego wants these things, you know, complaining and all these things. But there is already, there is force, very forceful souls all around the world that is awakening and that, that has this mission. And you're one of them. The new paradigm, the new... The new, re, uh, creating the new timeline of 
happiness, joy, uh, of healing, of helping, of forgiveness, of compassion. Nobody's left behind energy. Some of you are really burning for helping the animals and, and maybe not, for some of you, like, it could be that humans are not so interesting in helping, that's fine. If you want to focus only on helping animals and the forest and the jungle and the beaches and the streams and I don't know what, that's your mission. Don't, don't you think so much. You just go after what you burn. Like there's a passion here. You're meant to be happy. I mean, look at this. You're meant to be satisfied and happy. And this is just this is just your mission to be hold hold this high frequency of light. Yeah. What's this last card? Reaching out. It's time for you to reach out and ask for the help that you need. You're going to get like a lot of support. People are going to believe in you and they, they're going to want to support you because you're very passionate and very good at what you're doing. People will reach out to you to get help as well. <laughs> I keep seeing the spirit. I said it before, you know, if you really open a spiritual center somewhere and you want to invite me, I, I, I will probably maybe come visit you. <laughs> and of course I will help. I can cook and I can clean. I like doing stuff like that. I like being on centers and just serving, you know, even like with this mundane things like cleaning and cooking because just the energy you know of serving is just it gives you so much joy it's so nice <laughs> so yeah <laughs> don't forget to invite me if you have a center somewhere maybe i'll come by uh yeah hmm then i just see how it's blossoming i just see how good it, and i see how many people you help and how many hearts that you touch and how your light and your abundance is spreading. It starts with you and maybe this person and all this abundance, but everybody that comes in touch with you gets a piece of this energy and they go out into the world and it's like rip, this ripple effect. It's just spreading all around the world. Peace is restored. Nature is healing. Yeah, nature is healing. Na yeah, nature is healing. Humans are healing. Hmm. I want to take this card. So yeah, let's see what we got here. Tree of Cups. Yeah, you're not meant to be alone. Yeah, I, I felt also you're going to have people coming by, staying, helping, serving. You're never going to have any problem because I think, I think this is going to be bigger than you think. Yeah, maybe in your head you're like, okay, I'm going to do this and it's going to be, it's going to be big. It's like you start off by buying maybe a little piece of land and then you buy a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's just going to grow and it's going to become a community. Yeah, it's like something with a community. A community of love. Hmm. The tower. Interesting. Okay, so we have the tower. We have nine of wands. And we have ten of cups. Wow, beautiful. Well, I didn't see that it didn't autofocus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's just, yeah, it works. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Interesting that Ten of Cups came beneath the tower. Hmm. You know what I'm getting here? It could be that this, it, it could be that like something is going to happen. I don't, something happens in your life that start, makes this, Hmm. It's like something beautiful is born from a very distressful situation. Hmm. I, th I want to do three more cards. Yeah, let's do three more cards here. We have Page of Cups. Yeah, look at this. Something new is born. Do you have the tower here from a distressful situation? With the tower, it's like you lose something. You lose something and initially that looks bad. Like, okay, I lost my job, I lost my home. Like, what am I supposed to do now? But it's like something with like, maybe a universe is helping you let go of something that you shouldn't hold on to anymore. But at first, when you do that, you feel like, okay, this was a loss. But actually what it does is universe helps you close the door with, 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 that you had a hard time closing. Yeah, close the door that you had a hard time closing. Maybe removing this person in your life in some some very intense way. So yeah, and because of that, close that door that you had a hard time closing and opening up the door that you are meant to open up. Shock of the new, yeah, there's a shock here. <laughs> there's an element of shock here. 
So it could be an intense shift that's going to happen here for you. But look at this Ten of Cups underneath here. Showing that you're, you're not... Uh, initially, maybe you felt like shocking. It was shocking. You felt unsafe. But Ten of Cups underneath shows, no, you are safe. Not only that, this is like your, your, your true life, your true purpose came in here. Even Nine of Wands here look like you're in the fire. You look like you're in the... It's hard here. I don't know why it doesn't have to focus. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take some time just. <laughs> yeah. Take some time to adjust. It's going to take some time to adjust to a new new reality because the door is going to close. Maybe pretty... You weren't prepared maybe that it was going to close in that way, in that shocking way. But pretty quickly also it's going yeah it's going to be a little bit of shock and a little bit of adjusting period but pretty quickly you're going to understand wow okay that was a purpose that door closed this person got removed from my life I lost this job or I you know my I couldn't rent this house anymore because I was supposed to be moved here page of cups five of wands and eight of pentacles hmm Peacemaker, yeah, peacemaker. People are going to come to you and they're going to let go of their egos with five of wands. They come to you, they feel drawn to you and your center, <laughs> you know, you and your place. And they come there maybe with a little bit of an ego, but pretty quickly in your energy and in your, maybe, you, you know, for some of you, you're doing this with a divine counterpart and you have so much love between the two of you and you have so much maturity. You know, there's a lot of spiritual awakeness here. So just being around you, the teachers almost, they're going to, you're helping them. They go from ego to wanting to serve with the Eight of Pentacles here. They're like, they put their ego aside. You, you're going to bring out the best in people. You're, wow, this is so nice. Yeah, you're bringing out the best in people. You have a very important mission. You're going to touch many lives. Yeah, you're going to touch many lives. You're going to help people be, become free of things they didn't even know they needed to be free of. Because you will see their pain, you will see their ego, you will see their problems, and you will have forgiveness. Even people that comes in with, you know, just wanting to be a piece of, they just want a piece of your money maybe, they just want a piece of your abundance. And you will still have this feeling of forgiveness towards them and say like okay this is okay this is the human this is your conditioned mind this is how your ego works because of this and this like you can see the essence and when you do that and you you just compassionately love them something crack yeah the, a lot of tower moments for people that comes <laughs> to you their ego is going to crash they're going to go through like this massive shocking change but afterwards, they're going to feel so healed and so free and so light. And look at how they're serving now without ego, with eight of pentacles here. Yeah, no ego. They're just doing the work. They're just there to cook and clean. There's no ego like, I am this, or I donated this money, or I did this. Like, egoless ser service. Oh, so beautiful. Egoless service is the most beautiful service because it feels wonderful you know so much joy yeah so much joy metta loving kindness like they call it in buddhism metta is metta loving kindness is a state that comes when you are embodying a very high vibration you know compassion tolerance all these qualities is something that comes naturally when we have purified ourselves when we have got rid of our own ego ident identification with with who we think we are and all these things. Yeah, the, the, the more we return to essence, the more uh, the state of love uh, is naturally emanating from us. Uh, yeah, I want to do two more cards here. The Magician. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're definitely going through like this massive transformation. Yeah, you're adjusting a lot, you know, it still doesn't want to out the focus. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> yeah, The Magician, wow. Let's do yeah, one card, Knight of Cups. You're going to give a lot. You're going to give a lot. You're also going to get a lot. There's going to be people wanting to support you, wanting to help you, um, giving you money, donating money to you. You're going to attract like influential people is also what I hear. People with money, people with status, people with connections. So that we have three of cups here, yeah, connections. This is not, you're not going to do this alone, but you you and this person is like the teachers. 
Yeah, I keep thinking like you were with somebody here. <laughs> so yeah, you and this person are like the teachers, the 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 core that made it happen but then it grows and it grows but you're like you're the two of you are keeping this vibration so this is your highest soul mission you are keeping it but a lot of people wants to help you and it's beautiful it's very beautiful you can keep this high vibration even at times when people come to your center and things that has a different vibration that comes there through ego you help them this is very this is so nice. I want to do one last card. And we have the Ace of Swords. Wow. Yeah, I mean, enlightened, almost like enlightened beings. You and this person are like, you, you're carrying this enlightened awakening and you help people also uh, get enlightened the same way. And uh, to, becoming a ripple, you know, becoming a ripple in this mission of helping earth change <laughs> from 3d to 5d change you know completely yeah wow this is beautiful so pile <laughs> number two i think we're gonna stop there pile two this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the comment section either way pile two i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye Hello, pile number three and welcome to your reading. So what is your highest soul mission? We're going to figure that out together. You felt drawn to the turtle, wisdom keeper. Yeah, something with wisdom keeper here with the book, old book, old book, old turtle. <laughs> let's keep it here and let's see here. What else we have? Spirit messages, observe limitations, spirit messages. Mm, I'm getting a message, but let's do some more cards. Let's, I think we're gonna... No, let's keep it here, actually. Okay. We have Saint Germain with Violet Flame. Alchemy, release the old, make way for the new. What's your highest soul mission? I think you're meant to teach. Yeah, or just something with teaching, wisdom, teaching spirit messages channeling and teaching maybe writing a spiritual book or writing a book that's meant to awaken people okay <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves we have teleportation and levitation wow expand your gifts and power and <laughs> that's pretty interesting teleportation levitation teleport yourself <laughs> teleportation you know what this is very interesting so Saint, Saint Germain, a uh, descended master, was said to be able to, because Saint Germain and the violet flame, he has his energy of being able, he can't trans, he can transcend, he has a lot, of, like very high gifts, like if somebody could teleport themselves, it would have been Saint Germain, when he lived on earth, it was said, like, he had a lot of mystical energy. He was a mystic, mystic, he was a mystic, had a lot of mystical energy. And uh, it was said that he can walk through materia, like, matter. He could walk through matter. And, I mean, yeah, don't try to walk through the wall because I think you're going to hit your head to the wall. But, uh, so, and the violet flame, you know, is this flame of light that can trans mute matter into light release the old make way for the new so you have some awesome gifts you have some very strange spiritual gifts you can <laughs> levitation can you fly can you teleport yourself but teleportation and then the third eye is here open you can definitely teleport yourself energetically and shape shift i'm getting i'm i'm getting a headache actually so something with like there's going to be very high spiritual awakening for you during this lifetime maybe where you are releasing blockages in your crown chakra and third eye to be able to receive this very high messages i keep feeling like you're meant to write like a spiritual book or become some kind of spiritual teacher or channeling some kind of messages spirit messages and then it says observe limitations. It's interesting. We have observe limitations, but then we have teleportation and levitation, which is 
beyond all limitations of the physical body and the human life you know completely you know it's, we can't do that can we can we do it can you do it so you're a mystic you have a very mystical soul <laughs> yeah very mystical soul you have very interesting gifts i would say at a certain time in your life it could be that you are activating high soul star chakra and even these higher chakras you know that's a, a above the crown chakra there we have four more chakras or something like that. i can't remember it really and you know awakening those higher ones is like we have this crazy gifts and they don't make sense you don't need these gifts on earth with something with you opening them up seems to be a part of your mission hmm seems to be a part of your mission i don't understand this maybe you understand what this means we have a 16 and a 17 here as well 16 17 so maybe that makes sense also for someone let's do more cards expand your gifts and power going beyond limitations going beyond the limitations of the human body going beyond the limitations of the human soul activating your galactic mystic soul channeling down spiritual knowledge spiritual teachings that are very different from what the earth has seen before you are unique in this you many people of course listening to pile number three but uh, there are many unique souls and there are many unique teachings and you know so it's something with your own soul vibration and your own galactic gifts is like it's you are the you're the i hear like you are the chosen one to do this and you come from somewhere far away you traveled very far you come from like from some other multiverse universe galaxy or like a little bit of a uh, a, a very 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 old soul very very old galactic soul but a soul that also has been very interested in studying the secrets of the universe yeah the secrets of the universe so you have traveled far and distance distant places to really explore everything spiritual but like on a universal galactic multiverse i don't know level so yeah <laughs> you you have a lot of secrets like you have a lot of secret gifts and like very like gifts that very special for you yeah very special for you connect with music thank you angels for inspiring me through music saint germain i can't remember i think it's it's uh uh the the composer franz Liszt. i think it's called french Liszt, and the rokoshi march is the song <laughs> which is very connected to saint, saint germain i know because i work with the violet flame and saint germain a lot and also you know listening to this song it's like it really transmutes so like music music i wonder if it was saint germain who they think who was Mozart or Beethoven or somebody or maybe Franz Liszt in its in in himself but yeah but anything music so you, something with like you've been very connected to mu music you know the music of the universe they say the universe makes the sound um so sounds sounds you work with sounds you music you work with music music could be a way where, where what you how you transmute so some of you could even be musicians this is a guitar here maybe playing music connect with music or using sounds light language maybe to teach or to 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 do this thing that you do you can do things <laughs> you know you can do weird things with energy and I wouldn't say weird, weird sounds strange, but you know, it's like this very powerful things. You can do very powerful things with energy and with your own body. You can, you can do things nobody else can do. Yeah. Shape shift, teleport yourself, maybe levitate in some kind of energetic sense. But if you reach your highest potential, there is spiritual gurus and masters, you know, that has been, has done very strange things. Uh, oh, I can't remember his name now. This Indian uh, guru. Uh, I just see his picture. <laughs> this fat, <laughs> this fat man. <laughs> What's his name? 
Uh, no, I can't remember. Uh, Ram Das's teacher, you know, what was his name? Ram Das's teacher in India, uh, this guru. It was said that he could uh, teleport himself really quickly from one place to another because nobody understood how he took himself from one place and then ended up in another so fast. And I just cannot remember his name. So anyways, yeah. So there is people in the past that are said to be able to do these things and you got this you got these abilities. So you you have your you have the potential to become like a very mystical guru. Yeah, <laughs> very mystical guru, teacher, alchemist type of person. And that 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 <sighs> And it's kind of in your highest mission to be this. Teach, share, give something. Transmute energies in some way. What you want, wants you. Well, look at the spiral here. I'm getting like Fibonacci, the Fibonacci sequence, which I can't really remember exactly what it is now, but it's like the, the something like everything in the universe is... is everything in the universe is, is creating some kind of pattern. And the Fibonacci numbers are like this sequence of numbers. Everything is like kind of like it, it has a certain pattern to it. Yeah, it has a certain pattern. Everything makes sense. Everything is connected. You're a high. You're you're ver you're an alchemist. Yeah, I mean you're a galactic mystic alchemist. You're like this weird guru <laughs> that pops up and then disappears <laughs> you've probably been like some kind of indic in indian mystic guru or something in past lives and you you've done you've been you've you you've done things like this yeah i really feel like it's in your energy it would be hard to suppress it for so many lifetimes so and uh, you you also I keep getting like you've been a musician like and a classic composer like something with maybe piano violin uh Something with the way you, you make music is like transformative and very powerful. Yeah, very powerful and very transformative. So what you want wants you. You're like, you're a part of the plan. You're a part of the divine plan is what I feel here. We have another 16 here. So 16 to time. 16 is the major arcana card for the tower. And the 17 is the star, isn't it? Yeah, the star. So the tower and then the star. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're meant to, I think it's in your highest soul mission to grab, <laughs> like uh, help to help disharmonious energies to become harmonious again, to, be, to, to become the divine like to become yeah harmonious again and the way you do this is like something like you transmute the energies with your mystical powerful gifts you can even travel energetically you travel maybe you you do a lot of work during sleep well well it wouldn't surprise me Paul, because you have a very high energy i wouldn't surprise me if you have headaches at times if you have a hard time sleeping if you feel wired up or if you feel very tired at times because you, you, there's a high pressure on your crown chakra and third eye because you, you're carrying very, 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 almost too intense energies to, to carry in your physical body. So there's going to be probably a period of your life where it's like almost a little bit too much. You know, like when you have a Kundalini awakening, if you ever had that, but if you have a Kundalini awakening, it's just, you know, many people, they get like sick <laughs> you know they yeah it's sick it's too much it's just too much you know because it's such a powerful force and there's so much junk there's so much junk stored in our chakras so this powerful force of light comes in contact with the junk and the, the frequency of the body is so heavy you know we eat we eat uh, bad food maybe even healthy food is bad nowadays you know <laughs> so yeah it's, it's very hard you know and it, it it becomes very difficult for the body to process this much light and this much energy so something with you is like there's a period of your life where you are there's just so much that you're processing so i, I feel like something like be yeah with the turtle here take it a little bit easy at times because how, uh, you're care you're you have like your gifts are almost too powerful for your human body yeah so don't st don't stress to open them up they will open up it's better if they just 
it's better if you just expand and open your gifts up a little by little because it could be too powerful for you and too powerful for the people around you <laughs> it's like your volcano erupting it's like whoo okay because some gifts it was a long time ago since you were in touch with these gifts and i mean if you all all of a sudden would start flying in the air that would be like a little bit disruptive <laughs> yeah so let's see what else you got here surrender release misaligned energies wow i mean that's what i said was your mis mission to harmonize disharmonized energies and here it says release misaligned energies return retune to your truth retune to your truth yeah you're tuning retuning energies retuning energies this is a very lonely path for you. I want to say that because you are a very unique soul. There's not, there are souls like you, of course. Yes, there are star seeds. Maybe all of you are listening to my readings today. You know, you're star seeds, light beings, you hire angels or whatever you want to call yourself. But yeah, we're all, we are all these type of souls. And to be honest, you know, all humans are in, in one sense or less, you know. So, but but something with your gifts are so unique and different that even when you're amongst s s people like you, you're still going to feel like there's could be like a little bit difficulty communicating or understanding each other because your gifts are just so different. And the way you see the world and perceive things are just so different. But that doesn't really matter because I feel like you're a very compassionate person. You will find your tribe anyways. And, and there are... You will, you will, your tribe will be, you will be the oddballs. Yeah, you're, yeah, something like with, you, finding your tribe, you will find people that are odd like you. Hmm. Hmm. Where can we put surrender? Yeah, let's put it here. And the last card here is dreams. Wow, your dreams may be more vivid and intense than usual. We have a 66 here. Yeah, I felt like you were doing like a lot of work when you're sleeping and there's a lot of pressure on your third eye i think you have a very open third eye if you don't have a very open third eye if there's a blockage there i think you're going to experience headaches and like yeah, difficulties because because you're natural you're, you're naturally your third eye is so pure and so out of this world <laughs> out of this universe yeah I, like your gifts are just like yeah just out of this world and universe and galaxy almost you know it's so it's so different it's just so different it's your power open up your third eye yeah but something like keep yourself grounded with the third eye because otherwise i think it can become a little bit too much for you so yeah spiritual teacher mystic and <laughs> i just turned the deck and i saw the hierophant <laughs> yeah, spiritual teacher mystic yeah we just confirmed that let's just put it here <laughs> and let's do more cards you have a message to the world uh you're here to share your song your music your energy you're here to cause uh, to to uh, harmonize this harmonized energies and uh yeah let's see what else we got here we we're gonna do your tarot cards three of cups nice yeah so you do have a soul tribe you do have a soul tribe. They're going to be like you. <laughs> I keep feeling like they're going to be like you. You know, uh, it, it, strong in, in, in individuals with strong integrity and with strong missions. Yeah, strong integrity, strong missions. Doing their own thing. They're doing their own thing. Like you don't need each other. You're, you don't need each other because you have your own missions. But you find joy and you find... Uh, support and c companionship and love with each other but you it's like you all have your own very strong mission because all of, all of you are carrying the own your own energy two of swords over the head here over the third eye yeah third eye blockage very it's a big deal for you it's a big deal for you to open up the third eye probably there's a lot of karma stored in your third eye in your crown chakra because I think you're so open. I think as a child, you were just so open spiritually that you just picked up on a lot of dense and heavy things that was not yours. You're carrying a lot of, could be fear, could be like thoughts that are just not yours. Like a, almost like you're having a hat made of stone. <laughs> so something like letting that go is very important. Nine, oh, look at that. Once again, your head, 
See, you have a bandage here. Nine of Wands. Your spiritual gift was taken from you or you lost them. You're regaining them. You're regaining them. <laughs> wow, I just feel like when you have opened your third eye completely and you're ready to anchor this energy into your body without it being too much. Like the third all here, it's like you're, you become indestructible. You become, you will see everything crystal clear. Everything. You can see through any illusion, any delusion, any fearful energies. And like nothing will shake you or move you. It's like with a blink of your eye, you can like transmute energies in a room. So say you come into a room and there's people fighting. And there's just dense energies and you walk in. This is when you're fully activated in a way. You walk in, you're just like, wow, this is dense energies. And you just do something with your third eye. And it's just... Ooh, they just everything just shifts and the energy just becomes light and the people all of a sudden you know they become calm and they're like why am i fighting and they just let it go yeah wow <laughs> and something like i really felt this and i i didn't say it but i'm gonna say it now with teleporting yourself it's like you can teleport yourself to places that are in war yeah war zone war places people i don't know people these patriarchal figures of the world that are uh, holding the world in, in, in this ego war energy. It's like you can teleport yourself there uh, energetically, not physically, energetically you do that. And then you do the same thing and you, you shift their energy. It's like something like shifting energies. Hmm. I just got a message like there's going to be like a lot of big fi big figures, people in the world that is going to pass away, like people dying, like people in not, not people don't, don't get scared, not people that you know, but like people that patriarchal like I don't know, presidents and leaders of the world who's not good for humanity, something with like them passing away, something it has something to do with you. It has something to do, yeah, with, with you. It has something to do with you, yeah. That's what I felt and then it stopped. Because I'm, 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 you're transmuting this type of energies. It's in your mission to transmute this type of energies. There's a lot of lonely work that you do. It's like a lot, you do a lot of things that people don't see. It's, you're not really like in the spotlight. And uh, because your gifts are unexplainable. Yeah, they're unexplainable. But the teaching, you know, is going to be explainable. You may be writing a book and you're teaching. In that sense, you're going to be recognized. But you're going to do like a lot of things in the shadows. Working with a lot of things. And really helping in, in big ways. Hmm. The chariot. Success, success with the chariot? Yeah. Breaking through breaking free freeing humanity from bad people yeah something once again like you're gonna help get rid of the bad people of the world which in that sense is like just like helping the people because the earth is meant to ascend and go into a higher vibration and certain souls are still like very low vibrations like they are being moved now they're done they, they're they done now with their journey so they're being moved maybe to some other planet or some other place and something with you assisting in this you're doing this when you're sleeping so you're working with this team galactic federation of light but like kind of like the mystics yeah the mystics the the alchemists the arcturians the the syrians yeah this is this type of energy very intellectual creative intelligence energy i'm hearing serapis bay the ascended master egypt you have a strong connection to egypt you were there when the pyramids were built you just know so many things yeah you you, you just know so many things <laughs> yeah so you will be a big part. Your mission is to be a big part of Earth ascending and getting rid of the bad people and and and, and transmuting the bad energies and things like that. Hmm. You're working in many levels. We have Six of Swords. We have Queen of Swords. Wow. And we have Knight of Swords. With Queen of Swords, because we had Saint Germain here, masculine energy. You got your queen. <laughs> this, the you you have. I just heard you have your queen. 
you have your queen. Yeah, so for some of you, yes, you are a very unique soul, but there is somebody that's equally unique as you. Could even be a twin flame here as well. You have your queen, king. The king got his queen. Or the queen got his king. Whatever resonates with you here. So six of swords, king, queen of swords, knight of swords. Wow. Somebody that's equally powerful as you and is going to be the another dragon yeah you are a dragon warrior a mystic alchemist and this person is also that the both of you are carrying this high very high mission but with the knight queen of swords and knight of swords yeah you're not doing this alone you are like cleaning up and harmonizing the bad energies of the world and you are like a team but you're not the same soul types in this team you are very unique souls that all of you have gifts. Yeah, no, but there is something. Actually, yeah, I feel like it's you belong to a tribe. Yeah, it's true. You do belong to a tribe. You belong to a tribe with very... You, I don't think there's so many of you. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like there's so many of you. Because this is such a unique branch. <laughs> Something like very unique branch in the way of working. Uh, so yeah, Arctu Arctu you're very close to Arcturians, like I said. You have a very strong connection to Egypt. The Syri Syrian energy as well, and uh, the al the galactic alchemists, the mystics uh, of the universe, hmm, that comes and cleans up the mess with their very powerful gifts, which can move energies. Hmm. Okay, pile number three. Yeah, I definitely resonate with this pile. This was a fun reading and uh, very interesting. And I'm, I, ha I have a headache at the same time. I really feel this on myself, like this, okay, this, the third eye is very important and also being ready to ground this energy. Otherwise, it can be a little bit too much. So yeah, very interesting. Yeah, even, you know, look at this. We have the unicorn here uh, or the Pegasus. Can't remember if this... It's the unicorn or the pegasus who has the horn but the horn here also once again the third eye we have uh, hawaii here i don't know what hawaii maybe you need to go on a vacation <laughs> yeah i just heard that maybe a vacation would be really good for you to hawaii yeah you should maybe i have no idea why i said that but something with like going to hawaii to be able to get like a key or a piece of the puzzle or some other very paradise-like place that has like a lot of wa crystal clear water. Clean Maybe you need to cleanse yourself with some crystal water. Cleanse the third eye. There's some Lemurian energies here as well. So something like cleansing out. Maybe there's something... Yeah, like... like it. Maybe this is some kind of healing. Crystal healing. Hawaii paradise yeah i'm just saying this word maybe you, somehow it's going to you're going to get like your own message but i think this is going to help you raise your vibration get rid of this blockage some of you it's like go, actually literally going on a vacation to a very wonderful high vibrational spiritual place which is going to help you release heavy energies and really open up your third eye yeah hmm I hear paradise are within you, but something like it needs to be activated. Okay, pile three. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you want to uh, share your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile number three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.